Hello everyone, you are welcome to how to solve this very nice radical equation. Square root of 16 minus x squared plus square root of 9 minus x squared is equal to 5. Our job is to find the value of x. So, let's start by moving this expression to the right hand side. Then this will become square root of 16 minus x squared is equal to 5 minus square root of 9 minus x squared. Now, we take square of both sides. So, this square will be cancelled out with this square root and at left hand side we are left with 16 minus x square is equal to by using this algebraic identity a minus b whole squared is equal to a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. This will become 5 squared minus 2 times 5 times square root of 9 minus x square plus square root of 9 minus x squared whole squared. Next, 16 minus x squared is equal to this 5 squared will become 25 minus 2 times 5, 10 times square root of 9 minus x squared plus this square will be cancelled out with this square root and here we are left with 9 minus x squared. Now, we add x squared to the both sides. At right hand side, we add x squared. So, this get cancelled and this get cancelled. At left hand side, we are left with this 16 is equal to this 25 plus this 9 will become 34 minus 10 times square root of 9 minus x squared. Now, we subtract 34 from both sides. So, 16 minus 34 will become negative 18 is equal to this negative 10 times square root of 9 minus x squared. Now, we divide both sides by negative 2. So, this negative 18 divided by negative 2 will become 9 is equal to negative 10 divided by negative 2 will become positive 5 times square root of 9 minus x squared. And from here, we square again both sides. So, this 9 squared will become 81 is equal to this will become 5 squared times square root of 9 minus x squared whole squared. Next, 81 is equal to 5 squared is 25 times this square will be cancelled out with the square root and here we are left with the 9 minus x squared. Next, 81 is equal to 25 times 9 will become 225 and 25 times negative x squared negative 25 x squared. Now, we move this negative 25 x squared to the left hand side and this 81 to the right hand side. Then this will become positive 25 x squared is equal to 225 minus 81. Next, 25 x squared is equal to this 225 minus 81 will become 144 and we divide both sides by 25. So, this 25 will be cancelled out with this 25 and uh, at left hand side we are left with x squared is equal to 144 
divided by 25. Now we take square root of both sides. So this square will be cancelled out with the square root and we get the value of x is equal to plus or minus square root of 144 is 12 divided by square root of 25 is 5. So this is the final value of x. This is the final answer of this equation. Now let us verify this value of x by putting this value in the original equation. The original equation is the square root of 16 minus x squared plus square root of 9 minus x squared is equal to 5. So, we replace every x with this value. So, this will become square root of 16 minus in place of x we put this value plus minus 12 over 5 squared plus square root of 9 minus in place of this x we put this value plus or minus 12 over 5 squared is it equal to 5 x square root of 16 minus square of 12 over 5 is 144 divided by 25 plus square root of 9 minus square of 12 over 5 is 144 over 25 is it equal to 5. Now we can write the denominator of this 16 1 and we take LCM of 1 and 25 that is 25. We divide this 25 by this one we get a 25. So 25 times 16 will become 400 minus 25 divided by 25 is 1. 1 times this 144. This is under square root plus we can write the denominator of this line 1 and we take LCM of 1 and 25 that is 25. We divide this 25 by 1 we get 25 and 25 times 9 will become 225 minus 25 divided by 25 is 1, 1 times this 144 and this is under square root is it equal to 5. Next square root of this 400 minus 144 will become 256 divided by 25 plus square root of this 225 minus 144 will become 81 divided by 25 is it equal to 5. Now by using this property square root of a over b is equal to square root of a over square root of b. This will become square root of 256 divided by square root of 25 plus this will become square root of 81 divided by square root of 25 is it equal to 5. Now this is square root of 256 is 16 divided by square root of 25 is 5 plus square root of 81 is 9 divided by square root of 25 is 5 is it equal to 5. Now we take the common denominator 5 and this 16 will come here plus this 9 will come here. Is it equal to 5? 
Now this is 16 plus 9 will become 25 divided by 5. Is it equal to 5? And 25 divided by 5 will become 5 is equal to 5. You can see that left hand side is equal to the right hand side. It means this value of x plus minus 12 over 5 is a valid solution.